Hello, welcome to my channel. I am back from my trip to Dahlstrom. Today we are going to make a lovely tin fish curry, which I'm going to use potatoes to make my tin fish curry. Usually we make tin fish chutney, but today we're going to make something different. We're going to put potatoes into our tin fish and we are going to serve it with some putu. I'll also show y'all how I make my putu. Yeah, I have five potatoes. As you can see, I cube them quite small so they can melt away within the curry. And then I have a tin fish that is 400 grams. For braising, I've got half a cup of oil, one small onions grated, two tomatoes grated, one level tablespoon of mixed masala, one teaspoon of hardi, one teaspoon of garam masala, and one teaspoon of dania jeera powder. And thereafter I have a teaspoon of ginger garlic, and I also have a teaspoon of salt, but we will taste along the cooking. And then I have some lovely curry leaf together with some thyme for braising and then to garnish I have a little bit of dania. And for cooking up the potatoes I'm going to start off to use just a cup but along as the potato cook we will see whether we need more water. Now I'm ready to braise my curry. I've got my stove on low I'm going to add in my oil to the pot. Now I'm adding in my onions. I fry these onions out. It is soft. Now my onions has just turned color. So in I'm gonna put my curry leaf to it and my thyme. To this, I'm going to add my ginger garlic. My masalas. Allow this masala to dry out a little bit, right? To this masala, I'm going to add in my potatoes. If you like, you can also add in a little bit of peas to your cooking. Thereafter, I'm going to use my salt. I will allow the potatoes to fry out properly with the masala. I'm going to put my lid on and allow this to cook for about five minutes. Five minutes has passed us and the potatoes have came to a complete fry. To 
to this, I'm going to add in my tomatoes. I will give the tomato another two minutes to cook out. The tomatoes are cooked. So now I'm going to add in my cup of water to allow the potato to get soft. Thereafter, I'm going to increase my heat. I give this a quick mix and then put my lid on again. In the meantime, while this is going to boil out, I'm going to start getting ready to make my putu. Now we're ready to make our putu. Yeah, I have two cups of water which is boiling and to the water I'm going to add in my teaspoon of salt I will just stir the salt in the water and thereafter I'm putting my teaspoon of margarine to melt out previously we did a recipe making the putu for our minimal roti but I'm just taking you through again, just to remind you. And in that recipe, I use two tablespoons of margarine. Now I'm gonna add in my cup of minimal. And without stirring, I will let this come to a boil. I will leave this to cook for 15 minutes with the lid on. 15 minutes has passed. I'm going to start to stir this. Because I want to, to cook a little softer, I've got a quarter cup of water. I'm just going to put in through. Now this putu is done. I'm going to switch my stove off. and wait for my curry to get done before I serve. Now my potatoes are gone soft. To this we adjusted the salt to another half a teaspoon and we even used half a cup of water extra. So now I'm ready to put in my tin fish to the potatoes. If you feel you like more tin fish, you can add another can. But because our family is small, so one can of tin fish is enough for us. I'll just mix this and let it cook for another 10 minutes. Ten minutes has passed. And as you can see, the curry is done. In fact, if you like it with a little drier, you can do so. Or with a little bit of more gravy, you can add on some water. Now I'm ready to garnish. I've got some spring onions and dania. I'm going to switch my stove off, then I'm ready to serve. Here you go, your lovely tin fish with potatoes, served with some nice soft putu. And this is also a budget meal and a traditional meal. 
This meal used to be our family's favorite when the children were growing up. In fact, the mealy meal that used to get caught to the pot, that was the most delicious part when putting gravy into the pot and scraping up the pot. And everyone used to fight for the mealy meal that usually used to get caught to the pot. It brings a lot of memories. And thank you all for watching and enjoy.